On Saturday night at the Cable Dahmer Arena in Independence, the Wichita Thunder and the Kansas City Mavericks met for the third of four consecutive games against one another. This the first being in Independence and in the first period of the contest, the Mavericks turned the puck over as it was poked away, then taken back by Derek Angeli. He handed off and Brody Reed Lost possession of the puck, but picked up, and a shot was kicked away. Then it went into the corner. Then the Mavericks responded with their first goal of the contest, as firing at home was Brian Lemos, goal number six for Brian this campaign, as he did a nice down-to-one knee and waving as he scored. As you see, a shot from that from above the rink, uh, above the goal. Then the Mavericks got a brilliant save from Matt Greenfield, Coming up, the Mavericks' second lamplighter and just working his way from beside the goal and squeezing it into just a little opening for the Mavericks was Derek Angeli. A wrap around a tip broken up, and someone took exception of that. That was Sean Allen as he had Boston Lear in a headlock, and then uh, the linesman came in and separated them. Coming up next, a Wichita Thunder goal by the leading scorer in the league, Anthony Beauregard, and he fired high and put it home. The Thunder then tied the game. Anthony Beauregard in front, passed it in front of the goal, and streaking in for his first professional goal, Charlie Combs. The game winner was scored by a defenseman for the Wichita Thunder, Matthew Gangan, and we had a little extracurricular activities, and how about that? It was Jared Van Warmer and Matthew Graves. Meanwhile, to the side of them, kind of pushing and shoving, Boston Lear of the Mavericks and Sean Allen of the Wichita Thunder. Wichita hangs on as there was no scoring in the third period, and they win 3-2 to two over the Mavericks. These same two teams will hook up Sunday afternoon at 4.05 at the Cable Dahmer Arena in Independence.